When I decided to turn my empty balcony into a kitchen garden, the first thing I planted was tomatoes. They are pretty easy to care about, they are suitable for growing in pots as well as in open spaces, and it doesn't matter whether you want to grow cherry tomatoes or just regular ones. They all grow exactly the same. Let's get straight into it. It all starts with seeds. I bought this in a store, but you can also take seeds from a tomato. First, you need to find the right container. Any yogurt cup or milk carton will be great. I used a tub from ice cream. Just be sure it's clean and make a few drainage holes in the bottom. Fill your container with potting soil. I recommend using the one that is made specifically for growing seedlings. Water the soil and place your seeds on top of it. Cover the seeds with a thin layer of soil. Slightly firm it and sprinkle with water to ensure good contact between seeds and soil. Cover the container with a plastic wrap. It will help to maintain moisture, which is important for germination. Store the container in a warm place. At this point you don't need to worry about providing light. Check your seeds daily and keep an eye on soil. It should be slightly moist, but not soaking wet. If there is a need to moisten the soil, it's better to use a spray bottle. Once you see the first signs of green, move your container to the light. I put mine in a sunny spot on the windowsill. At noon I slightly shaded it from direct sunlight to prevent the young seedlings from burning. Watch closely to make sure the soil doesn't dry out. I still haven't removed the cover to retain moisture and to let all the rest of seeds sprout. But I left cups, so that air could circulate. At this stage seedlings grow pretty fast. On the sixth day I removed the cover and kept providing them with good light. And don't forget to rotate the container regularly to keep the plants from leaning into the light. Young tomatoes need space to establish a healthy root system. For this, they need to be split into individual pots. This process is called pricking out. It's important to do it as soon as seedlings start to grow their second pair of leaves. The first pair is called seed leaves. The second pair is true leaves. Once they start to emerge, the seedlings are ready to be pricked out. Water the soil before starting. It will make the roots easier to divide. Prepare the pots. I used simple yogurt cups. Just don't forget to make drainage holes in each of them. Fill the pots with soil. I mixed seedling soil with nutrient-rich soil to provide the young plants with enough nutrients. Now you need to split your seedlings from each other. Choose the strongest ones and try to retain as much soil on the roots as possible. Be gentle, as the seedlings are very delicate and can be break easily. In a new pot you need to plant the seedling deeper than it was in the original container. It will help to establish a strong root system. Tomato plants can produce roots along their stems, so it's a good idea to bury it right up to the leaves. In this way the seedling will grow roots all along the buried stem. Now all that your young plants need for the next few weeks is warmth, a lot of light and watering regularly. In two weeks my seedlings grew pretty tall, 
Here you can see the truth filled all the pot and started to spread outside. This is a sign that it's time to move the plant into a bigger pot. This method helps the green part of the plant and the roots develop simultaneously and balanced. Two weeks later, my seedlings were ready to be transplanted to their final spots. If you are planning to grow your tomato plants outside, they need to be gradually adapted to outdoor temperatures. Slowly extend the amount of time your seedlings stay outside each day. I do grow my plants in containers on my balcony. The larger the container, the easier it will be to care about the plant. Since tomatoes are heavy feeders, this means they require a lot of mineral nutrients to thrive. It's crucially important to have a nutrient-rich, healthy soil. For tomatoes, a vital nutrient is calcium, and the best natural source of calcium are simple eggshells. The shells also contain other minerals that help plants grow faster and stronger. The smaller you grind the shell, the sooner the minerals will be released into the soil. Take your plants out of their pots as carefully as you can. Try not to disturb the roots. In a new place you can bury the plant deeply into the soil. As it was mentioned before, the plant will produce new roots all along the buried stem. Tomato plants require full sun. So place your pots in a sunny location and water them frequently. Feed your plants regularly with a tomato-specific fertilizer. Usually, container-grown tomatoes require feeding about every two weeks. But it also depends on the fertilizer you choose. Just read the instructions to know proportions and frequency. After your plants will start flowering. Tomato flowers are self-pollinated, and most commonly they are pollinated by the wind. But if you grow your plants indoors, they need a little help from you. Simply shake the plant, it will imitate the wind and stimulate flowers to release their pollen. Do this every day, preferably in the morning. You can also collect the pollen that is released and with a soft brush transfer it to the center of the flower. Or you can wipe the brush inside of the flower collecting the particles and then rub the brush on the tip in the center to transfer the pollen where it should be. 
I tried all three methods and I can say that my plants were happy just with shaking. It was enough for them. You know that pollination has succeeded when the flower begins to shrivel and tiny fruit appears. With time, the bottom leaves of the plant will naturally yellow and wilt. Remove these leaves, it will keep the plant fresh and prevent diseases. Tomato plants require pruning in order to maximize the production of fruits. But before starting trimming your plant, you should find out which type of tomatoes you are growing. Pruning is not necessary for some of the varieties. But if your plants do require pruning, it can be done very easily. Check your plants for the shoots. They sprout at the point where a leaf joins the main stem. Each of them creates a new growing stem that drains energy from the main plant and its harvest. These shoots must be removed. Pinch them off with your fingers. New shoots will appear continually, so it's important to remove them regularly and as soon as possible after they sprout. Provide some additional support for your plants. Place stakes in pots and tie each plant to a stake. As well, I added wood chips to cover the soil. It helps to protect roots from the sun and retain moisture. Be sure your efforts will be rewarded with the best flavorful tomatoes. And you'll never come back to tomatoes from a grocery store.